Uh, you know, last season, I just told someone on the phone uh, a few weeks ago, I was still in Baton Rouge in my studio apartment, you know, trying to learn everything on my own. But having a whole off season, full OTAs, it was good to just get that, you know, uh, get that rhythm up front, get some snaps in, and I feel great. It looks like you've added strength just looking at it. How much are we talking, like 5, 10 pounds? Or yeah. Uh, so last year I played in between like 310, 315. I'm sitting around 320 right now. I feel great. Uh, I don't feel like I put on any you know, bad weight. Uh, like I said, I, in the off season, I just went straight to work. I, I knew last year wasn't good enough, so I just went straight to work and put my head down all off season and just grinded. What was it about last year that you were making mistakes with that you don't think is going to be a problem this year? Uh, just not playing physical enough. That was, you know, not uh, coming off the ball, you know, fast enough, kind of hesitant. Still thinking a little bit, uh, and now this year, you know, having a the same offense, same guards next to me, we know each other. Um, you, know, you just go out there and play. You know, I, I know I put in time to learn what I have to do and learn the the full picture of the offense. So now I could just go out there and, and play physical every snap and just get after it. Graham said that you guys worked out in the offseason. Yeah, <laughs> that was huge. Uh, we we got after it. We got after it for sure. Uh, we just just getting that bond with. A guy you play next to, you know, every every snap, uh, pushing each other every day, uh, whether it's running, it's lifting. And, I mean, we got. I feel like me personally, I got a lot stronger working out with him, trying to keep up with him. And even when Moody was working with us, trying to uh, get get up to his strength. You know how strong Moody is, so I feel like I got there a little bit. What kind of running? What kind of running game do you think this team can have with you guys up front? Before? Great, great running game. Well, uh, you know, we we do a lot of we can we can get out to the second level. We get to do a lot of outside zone things. Uh, we could gap, you know, we ran a lot of gap schemes last year with Dalton pulling, Graham pulling. So we have an athletic front. Even our tackles can get, get out there and pull, get up to the second level. So it all starts up front. We got great backs that can hit the hole and, and make us look good. So we'll see how it goes. How excited are you to, uh, to get the pads on and see if this added strength really, you know, mm -hmm. translates? Yeah, I'm very excited. You know, this, this one, it gets real. Um, you know, really the tempo for us up front, we've been going hard, you know, either way. So there's nothing really changes from that aspect. But uh, you get the pads on, guys get to get a little bit more chippy. So, well, we'll see how it goes, and I'm looking forward to it. Where were you working out with um, Graham? Here or uh, for a little, From, like, February to March, we were here uh, working out with Landau. Then we went over to a place called Barwis. Uh, it's in Inglewood. Uh, they moved here from uh, Miami. They had a location in Miami, so it was a, it was a good spot. But um, most of the offseason was here and over at Barbers. So you stayed in Colorado on purpose? Yeah, yeah. I, I went. To... Nah, I, <laughs> I went home in February. But I mean, my family they always they always they all want to come here. So we've been in Louisiana <laughs> our whole life. So any chance they get, you know, they're gonna come here. Hey. It's a little bit of everything, uh, you know, upper body, but it, it's mostly like the core, core strength, lower body strength, and really technique. You know, that's that's what it is. You know, when you get tired, do you get sloppy, or do you still get off the ball the first two steps, quick, fast, and playing physical? So that's that's really what it is: technique and core strength. There was a play a few days ago where screen pass and uh yeah that's i mean that's what every offensive lineman wants to get out there on the second level and you know do what you have to do your job when, you know against those linebackers and uh it was a play i ended up getting out and you know melvin 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 set me up good and made me look good so uh that's that's the plan that's what we want to do every, what, what does that feel like when you flatten like that uh i honestly i didn't i mean you, the rest of the team went crazy, but I didn't. I just worry about the next play. Let's get this next play in, man. Just keep executing. So I didn't really think too much of it. When we asked most guys about the quarterback, it, it really doesn't affect them necessarily. But you deal with the quarterback every play. Yeah. Do you make an effort to have a separate relationship with each, or how does that go with yeah. Drew and Teddy? Uh, it, it's not that big of a difference. The only thing, you know, they have a, a little different approach in the huddle, and the cadence is a little different. But at the end of the day, you know, it's our job to protect them. And help him get the ball to his receivers and backs, and tight ends. We got so it's not too much to think about. Uh, we just got to do our job up front. You said on Zoom a few weeks ago you weren't surprised they took yeah. away the minors in the third because of the way you played. Yeah. Last year. 
you feeling better about your game now going into year two that you can hold them off? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I've, you know, like I said in the off season, you know, I totally expected them to bring someone in, whether free agency or draft, because you know what I did wasn't good enough. So uh, I just look myself in the mirror and say I got to get better. And whether they would have brought another position in or what, you know, I, I knew I had to get better. You know, unless you know, for for this team to take the next step, for this line to take the next step. So yeah, I, I feel I'm feeling good. I'm looking looking forward to getting to these. Preseason games, going against different opponents, and seeing how we can do. Did that make your approach to the off season, I guess, I don't know, easier to, to kind of manage, knowing that you had the mental side, you know, down, or that you're ahead of, of where a lot of rookies might be, and it was just physical or mostly physical? Yeah, uh, well, big part of my off season was mental as well. Uh, not just learning, you know, what I have to do, but this full picture of the offense, and that just helps me, um, you know, play faster. Go out there and just play. And I have to think, I have to process as much, you know, get the call, you know, say, communicate what I have to communicate and go out there and play. So um, it was, like I said, a big part was mentally and physically watching a lot of film of guys, other centers around the league, seeing things where I can take from them and put it into my own game. Who are some of the centers that you? Uh, uh, well, Eric McCoy from the Saints, Rodney Hudson, uh, Jensen, Tampa Bay, uh, really uh, all those guys. And, I got a chance to kind of talk to those guys. I went up to Dallas to O-line masterminds and kind of pick some of their brains, talk to Ben Garland, who was a center here for, for a little bit. So I'm trying to pick their brains and see what I can take from their game and put it into mine. Thank you. Thanks, Lloyd. No problem. Have a good day.